What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ford Era. You got me Salman here today and we are in Houston, Texas. I'm actually with my buddy Daryl at his collection over here. And uh, you guys are in for a treat. We got Kyle too. So uh, where should we even kick this off? Welcome to the channel. Thank you very much. This is a uh, 77 crew cab. I bought this maybe 15, 18 years ago. It's uh, pretty much all original. It's one repaint. Um, I believe to be 85,000, 87,000 original miles. She is original upholstery. Beautiful. I love the blue interior, like everything on this. Densides really have the best crew cab interior because you could actually option them. That is so nice. Unfortunately, no power windows. Yeah. When did they first offer power windows on these? I would the bull say nose? not until the bull nose. Okay. That rear bumper. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably great. some dealer installed, yeah. you know. Drop hitch. Now we just can get a drop hitch hitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I'm sure there's one over on the shelf. Right. This is beautiful. They did a nice job on the paint job. Like it's straight. The color looks really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's there's some imperfections. It's it's not perfect, but you, get you know, it. for what it is and that and the fact that I actually use it, it's 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 great. Exactly. What about this beauty? So this is a. Uh, I think an 81, F-150, factory four-wheel drive. It's a good looking truck. I love the color combo. You don't see that too often. Yeah, I kind of like the, uh, I like the rubber mat too. Huh, work you know, truck, I like it. Which is, yeah, definitely kind of nice. So this is one of my recent purchase. I bought this from a dear friend of mine. It's uh, a Southern California build. Um, Flathead, it's got a lot of unique and rare parts. Even though it is a reproduction, it is still a steel body. Um, There's nothing like a 32. Yeah, it's it's definitely, definitely cool. I mean, that's, when you think hot rod, like boom, this comes to mind. Well, and I bought the 33 from my buddy also. And, and and he bought that car, I think he said maybe eight, eight, seven, eight, ten years ago maybe, and he bought it from the original owner. Wow, still ha that is awesome. Uh -huh. I like that they kept the fenders, because just about everybody tossed the fenders to make a hot rod. That's rad. We gotta talk about the fastback. So this is a 1966 GT350 Shelby, factory black, I know a lot of people are going to see the video and they're going to say they didn't make a black Shelby unless it was the rental racer Hertz. This is a uh, one of, a, under, from what I understand, one of 22 total, one of 12 with a stripe delete. Really? Um, and it is a rental racer? No, it is not. Oh, That's wow. That's what makes it rare. They made, you know, roughly a thousand of the rental racers. They would have had the gold stripes on the side. Okay. And the gold stripes over the top. This is uh, just one of uh, just a handful of black cars that was sold to the public, hmm. and um, it's my understanding it has 38,000 miles on it. Everything that I can tell. And this is a 1957 Cadillac Series 62. Bought this car in uh, Pendleton, Oregon, and so it's super dry, super straight. Ran and drove. It uh, unfortunately it's set in a garage warehouse, not here. Uh, but another one that I have for about 15 years, and we just brought it back. Uh, we're gonna do a, a detail and a cleanup uh, soon. And uh, it rained and drove when I parked it. I think we're gonna need to probably do fuel system brakes and we should be ready to roll. Heck yeah, I love this thing. And uh, the battery's about to die, so oh. we're gonna switch the battery, guys, and then pick you back up. All right, guys, so battery is back, and uh, now we get to talk about some more trucks. Okay, this is a 71 High Boy. We put up, we like the 69 grill, so we put a 69 grill on it. Harbor uh, Blue, love it. I believe it's, I, I, I think it's, I think it's uh, called Harbor Blue. Uh, you know what, it might be, Mar I don't know, maybe Harbor Blue. Marlin Blue, that's it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it is a Marlin Blue. It was originally white. So when we painted it, you know, we decided to go back with the uh, the blue. I like it. Thank you. What about this beauty over here? 
And this, so this is also a 71 crew cab factory four wheel drive. What's that, the O26? F26, F26, F26. Um, factory white. Uh, again, we really like the 69 grill, so we put that on. But it is a very original, very solid truck. Runs and drives great. Does not have air conditioning, which would, would be nice to add in Houston, Texas, but oh yeah, it's still definitely. a lot of fun. And this thing is just super straight. It's original paint? No, 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 no. Okay. No, it's, it is a repaint. And you have some good body and paint guys. We've, we've, we've used a few. <laughs> it's kind of, it's, it seems like as soon as we find one that's really good, he moves. Or gets too busy? Yeah. So this is a 69. Okay. High boy, F-250 crew cab. Original color. I guess this is I, I like a turquoise. Yep. But it is the original turquoise. color, original setup. This one has air conditioning. This AC was added. Uh, a good friend of ours owns a shop here in town, and he put uh, AC in this one. Nice. So yeah, it's dealer it's a nice bumper. Truck. Very cool. And you have a really great collection of high boys. These are just some of the most beautiful ones. There's, there's actually a few more at, at, at uh, a farm, but you know, they're not nearly as nice as these. So do you find, just like I do, that it's kind of like an addiction? You get one, and then all of a sudden you have 10? You have to, yeah, you have to buy three or four more. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> okay, so the guys that, that know are going to appreciate this. This was, uh, help me out, a government what is it, on the DSO? Just a government DSO, so Go no color. So there's no co color stampings. Uh, I bought this from a gentleman out of Arizona, I believe it was, maybe eight or 10 years ago. He told us, uh, told me that he bought the truck um, from the government auction um, and that it was originally at the Nevada Atomic Test Site. I don't know how true that is, but it's a good story. It, it's yeah, it, it's definitely a good story. You can see this is the original color of the truck, sort of a battleship gray. I love the I'm original I'm gonna definitely color. go back to the battleship gray when we repaint, probably do a, maybe a, possibly a Godzilla. That'll be cool. I might know some people. You, you, I you, could you, introduce you to. You got a guy? I, I might got a guy. So, and, I mean, look, and it's such a great solid Arizona truck. I mean, everything on it, it's just super solid, rust free. Your grills are like brand new. Yeah, they're like brand new. It's just such a great truck. I love those hubs, those are special hubs. Just got uh, the pile of motors, huh? We got a, you got a couple of extras back there. Oh yeah. I that think there's, funny. there's probably a Cobra jet back here. Uh, I know there's a couple of Hypo 289s back here, some 390s. Nice. Just miscellaneous stuff. Some good wheels, just in case. Yeah, we really need to. Maybe clear. Need to clear some of this out. Too cool. Now, for the Ford, Ford Buff, this is uh, another '66 GT350 Sapphire Blue, which, uh, from what I understand, is one of 50. It's a factory rear seat delete, so it's got the package tray. The gentleman that ordered the car, he, the gentleman who ordered the car, he. Uh, at the dealership, had them install a, the Cobra steering wheel, the 65 Shelby Craggers, the R model roll bar. All of that has been in the car since day one. The car had, from what I understand, had early uh, race history in Oregon, Washington State, Northern California, up until maybe 71. And uh, yeah, this is definitely my favorite. This is gorgeous. One of the things that I love that you said is that you actually drive all your cars. I do, I, I do, I try to. The ones that run. <laughs> <laughs> as they run, right? Yeah, as, as they run, we yeah, drive. This one's running this week. Okay, let's yeah. take it. Yeah, the, the guys at, at, the, uh, the, you know, at the parts store, they know me because I'm constantly buying batteries, even though everything's on a- Trickle. Trickle chargers, there's always batteries, so. What about this line? I think uh, I think a lot of the guys probably will appreciate just seeing the rest of it too. Okay, well, th this is a 86 Testarossa flying mirror, which it's, again, my understanding, I'm not a, you know, don't, don't know for 100% sure, but there were 300 flying mirrors 
uh, imported into the United States. Roughly about 20, from what I understand, were black on black. You know, most of these cars were always red. Uh, yeah, red tan or red black. This is uh, just a little 66 uh, GT, not a K code, just a GT, uh, but it is a four speed and what makes it, you know, kind of extra special is the red interior. Definitely. That's beautiful. One day I need to get a fastback. Well, we can help find you one for Definitely. sure. Definitely. This, this uh, laser is I, beautiful. This is my buddy's truck. Uh, so I don't know a whole lot about it. I think it's a 69, uh, maybe a 70. Mm -hmm. He's kind of uh, in the process of doing some interior work. I think he's putting uh, either new carpet or maybe just doing a rubber mat, uh, mm -hmm. uh, recovering the seats. Making uh, it a little bit more useful. Yeah. Very cool. This uh, 69, this is a 70 Boss 302. Oh. And it's, you know, original numbers matching, Calypso Coral, 70 Boss 302. I love it. The 70s just have such a great look on them. Yeah, especially the front. Definitely. Great looking little car. This 84 Carrera, original paint. I think it's maybe a four, Where, Where's 60. the motor? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we're, we're putting a big block in it. Oh, it's electric. Yeah, it's an electric. So <laughs> th this is a, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, from what I understand, I bought it from the original owner. It's never been out of Harris County. Really? Um, I think it's maybe at 60,000 miles. Wow. Um, I did, I just put a battery in it this week. So that's <laughs> why the, we're, we're up. And I don't know if we talked about this one. We spoke a little bit about this one. We spoke about those. We did not 33. speak about the roof. This, yeah, roof turbo. I think uh, it's a, kind of a rare car for those that know. So. For those that know, probably, you know, I'm sure there's people that know more about it than I do, but yeah, I, I think it's a pretty rare car. And uh, it's a recent purchase of maybe a year ago. Nice. And this little 84 Carrera 4S. And Beautiful. Uh, in a really nice color blue. I think it's called Ocean Blue. Gorgeous. And you have an awesome collection. Thank and you very much. I really appreciate and there's you more. Me, uh, there's more, but this is what we have here. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure we'll be back many times. Yeah, I it's hope It's really so. funny how we met. So I'm over here in, uh, I was in Nacogdoches, now we're in Houston, but I was over in Nacogdoches driving Snickers to Mast, and I'm just driving down the main road, and some guy flags me, and he's like, you gotta pull over. So I pull over, it's Daryl, and he's like, you have Snickers here? What? Oh my gosh. And, uh, and we got to know each other. And he's like, well, if you come to Houston, you should come check out what I got. So we're here. And uh, this is really cool. I appreciate you wow. uh, flagging me down. Thank you. Absolutely. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you, guys. So right now, I'm actually going to bust out the drone. We'll get some cool drone footage and uh, see you after that.
right, guys, so hope you enjoyed that drone footage, and I've had such a fun time coming to check this stuff out. I really appreciate Daryl, you know, basically giving us a tour of this place, and uh, it's really cool. If you guys enjoy seeing stuff like this, I try to check stuff out like this all the time, so make sure to subscribe to the channel. As always, if you can, like the video, it really helps, and uh, let me know in the comment section below which one of the trucks are your favorite, or which vehicle in here is your favorite one, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.